Hey guys, hope that you're all doing well. Welcome back. Let's play some more Frankia in EU4 Antebellum. Uh, we are killing it. We're crushing it. I uh, I honestly have no worries about basically the rest of the game. Once we finish out Offensive, we will get Siege Ability and Leader Siege, as well as uh, Privateer Efficiency, which is not entirely useful, but look how much trade power we have up here now. And uh, as we get the money, we can now upgrade these guys here which will put us over the 50% threshold. Oh, it's so close. It's so close, okay. Uh, well, this guy are down here. Can get it. Let's uh, get a land force limit modifier so we can build up to our casual 170 some thousand force limit. We now get a missionary, a merchant, rather. We can transfer here, and then um, that'll take us from 22.5 up to what? Extra five ducats a month. That's not bad. Um, and our Imperial Authority, we're about to pass our Hereditary Rule, which is great. Because then we can start, you know, off our kings left and right. And we don't need to worry about anything. Alright, let everybody through. That's fine with me. Um, I do think it would be good... So we have like a full-blown road system in a lot of these provinces. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Unlawful territory for Florence, huh? Who, do you, who did you annex? Pisa? Ooh, Corsica. Very good. I never know how it decides whether it releases a new tag or if it releases like the tag that was already there. You know, like, it was, this was owned by Genoa, but for some reason it released, um, uh, Corsica? I don't know how it decides that. Okay, so let's have you guys come on down here. We definitely need to get a debate here. Colonist, global settler increase, sure. Um, support popularists. Grand Captain is this guy, right? Military support, meritocracy, no. Local autonomy is always fine with me. There we go. Let's pull in a uh, discipline guy. Trying to see like the price of them. It doesn't say, huh? Let's just take our um, this guy down here then. It's fine. So now we have two colonists. So I suppose what we need to do is we need to take a couple of these guys and get a guy down there to explore. So then in that one, we need to. Um, get a bunch more light ships and we also need to get a bunch more transports so we'll do that as well yeah we should probably get even a few more than that come on now bohemia is oh whoa 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 what in the world is going on here bohemia just integrated an incredible amount of land what Bro. And it's all Catholic as well? This must be like an event or something. Interesting. Alright, Bohemia. You're getting on my good side now. Now I kind of regret taking a lecture ship from you a while back. So let's make mark these guys as hostile. And uh, him as hostile. And him as hostile. So that way he will get some claims over there. Let's go ahead and march him. What's his missions or his, his uh, ideas? Espionage, offensive, economic, unrest, shock damage, attrition for enemies is good. Fort defense. Yeah, let's make him a march. It's fine with me. And build a couple of forts over there even. Definitely build one on his capital. Is that, uh, it's woods. That's pretty good.
Navy game is good. So let's have you guys protect trade in the channel. We can uh, take out the heavies as we, as necessary. Let's actually take the heavies out right now. And keep this guy, obviously. Pull you guys out there. Protect trade in the channel. Won't affect income a whole lot. If anything, it's good because it'll save us a bunch of sailors. Explorers are ready. Let's have you guys go on down here and explore this stuff. Truce with the Netherlands is over. So can I expand the empire with him? Next month, maybe? Hey, Cornwall. Adding provinces to the HRE, my man. So I can't get him in the empire. It's interesting. Wonder what the reason for that is. Not sure. Basically, I just need to get over here. Let's see if I can just buy some trade companies. Get my way into India directly. I can. Cool. Sounds good to me. That means I can probably buy one off VJ now. Um... Casey, I'm not gonna lie, man. I don't really care. Odo, the uh, 433 is much better, so this is fine with me. Let's go with uh, these guys there. Ship durability and privateer, I'm not as keen on. Let's, um, let's have Cornwall give me his trade. Make me a lot more money. We need to make sure that these guys are also turned up. And then I think I actually had some edicts going on down over here. Yeah, very good. Turn that off. Good. So have you guys exploring, let's see, the islands over there. Nice, a half off level three treasurer. That sounds wonderful. Our advisors are so cheap. So I think I might have missed this. <laughs> Let's uh, bestow some grace on some friends. Where's this other guy? Dresden, right? He is one. Let's uh, make rule hereditary. I guess, yeah, I'm over there setting up a uh, hereditary rule, and it literally doesn't matter because I'm about to hit that button anyways. There we go. Papacy. So now we can do... Let's just let's just sink all of our points into it. The sooner we get it, the better. Um, let's have you guys explore over here. I'd like to do a nav circumnavigation, but I'm not so sure about that. Albon Albanian La Plata. Okay, it looks like nobody's in the New World yet either. Interesting. How is that governing capacity? So it's gone down a bit, which is good. So we might as well start considering, now that we're hereditary... Where's my army at here? Yeah, let's get these guys down here. I don't... Let's have you guys come over here and have you guys uh, protecting trade in the channel. There we go. So let's have you guys brought down. We're almost done annexing Cornwall, which is nice. Is he done coring up all that stuff? Yeah, it's all cored. Very good. So let's head on over here with a new general. Not bad. So we caught up on our mill idea, and we're still going to be able to take mill right on time, so it's great. Nice.
Let's just declare this war. We're going to take as much as we can in this war. Call in Bulgaria as well. Why not, you know? Let's see if we can wipe them out. Doesn't look like it. Fine. I'll just full annex him. Let's just state this stuff up since it'll be easy. And that should help out with our trade income. Let's state that up as well. Netherlands want to give me Kandadiari, really. Yeah, sounds good to me, man. 21 stack that I don't even have to worry about. They'll just go fight for me. That sounds great. So they're getting occupied by Savoy, apparently. And these guys are over here still just, like, cranking out land into the HRE. Where's that at? Where's the button for that? There we go. Over here. Very cool. We're gaining 0.5 a month. It's crazy. We have religious peace. Cool. Let's, uh... Let's get two of you guys over there, and there we go. I think we can just speed five it, honestly. I think uh, calling in what's-his-nuts was a little overkill. Bulgaria. I'm fine with overkill, though. And then we're going to save up our money so we can buy... Because we need, we definitely want to be getting into um, um, India. And we're going to then seize land from uh, Andalusia in our next war with them in uh, South Africa. So we can steer as much money as we can. So Lotharingia will do all these guys there. That actually might put me over that... I think it said... So we have this one now. We just need to get that one. So once we pass these two reforms, then we're good. And then we can revoke. Whenever. Um, everybody is kind of slowly becoming the correct faith. How are these guys Protestant? What is that about? That's funny. Anyways. Um, these guys are about to lose their capital, so then they'll peace out as well. Let's say we want uh, Norm or Lombardy to go down there. And then Baden needs peace down as well. That's the piece we'll take with you. So Riga over here is Protestant. Hmm. Norse. All these guys up here are Norse. I like Denmark's flag. That's dope. All right, so Baden. Give me all your money. Thank you, sir. And that means we just need to peace out Florence. Which we can do pretty quickly, I'm sure. We can get some cannons down there. Oh, yeah, no problem. Good. Let's have you guys exploring down here. Are they not? There we go. Very good. So you guys will now be pieced out for all that. And uh, let's see here. Can I? Mm, yeah, I can't. It's a lot of AE anyways. So. Yeah, it's a lot of Diplo. So I already have this state. So let's take those guys. And then what about like. I just don't want to get an. A coalition. That's a big one. Is this just that much dev? 18 and 20? Yeah. It's kind of a lot. So what about something like this? No, nah, it's still too much. This one's more reasonable. We can do that. We'll just take as much as we can from that piece. Let's cancel the Kandariari. Core that up. And then uh, get you guys all over here. And then we need to start considering the move against Andalusia. Because like I said, we want to take this ourselves. So let's send our colonists down here. And then... Where's my other one at? 
What? Where's my other colonist? Why are you here? In what world does that make sense? Hotkeys, man. They'll tilt you. They will tilt you. So we're going to get these guys down there. We're going to send an army down there. And we're going to, you know, or just a couple, maybe even some rebel or some, uh, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Some uh, guys. Yeah, the dudes. You know what I'm talking about. So let's see here. Will they sell me a, co a fort? Okay. They definitely will. It's going to cost me. Oof. Okay, what about you guys? Would you trade charter me a trade company? No? Maybe. They're a little more willing. What about Bengal? Oh yeah, Bengal will. Still expensive though. Hmm. BJ, you don't want that one. It's not even connected to your land, man. That's tough, man. He's an ally of him. Bengal's got Delhi up here. Yeah, it's going to be tough. Unless I can just get some men over there, it's not going to happen. Coalition forming with a couple of peeps, but I'm not too worried about it. Half off trade efficiency, guys. Sounds good. I'm real big on the... Uh, Imperial Authority guy, but looks like we're we're pretty good now. We're cruising. Yes, colonialism on Andalusia. I would love that actually. We also have conquest on his entire like country, so that would also be good. So Lombardy does not owe me favors, but he will soon. Bulgaria does owe me a lot of favors. They're just not willing because they have debt. Well, I can, I can help with that, dude. Right, so I'll just send them a gift. 500 duckaronis. There we go. He'll come in. Let's go for like... Uh, Albacete. Something like this. I don't think their numbers are going to be anything that I need to worry about. It says they have more, but it's just because they've got a lot of colonies and all these things. It's, it's nothing. It's nothing. Anyways, let's see here. Can I get mercs in my colonies? I can. Very good. Let's do that. Let's have these guys occupy this. We definitely need it. I'm going to scorch some earth down here. Bohemia is adding a bunch of stuff to the HRE. Very good. Get you guys over there. Very good. And as we get closer and closer to finishing this up, have you guys go up there. I'm definitely going to take, like, these are provinces that I'm definitely going to take. I'm going to take all that. And then I'll take whatever I can up here as well. I have permanent claims on all this stuff, so it's like, we'd be fools to not take it. Very good. Let's get our navy over here. He's got the galleys. Nah, it doesn't look like it, actually. That's right, you get your Catholic zealots, you dingus. Let's wipe out their their navies here. Let's see if we can get them off of Gibraltar. Ah, 64%. Oh, they didn't win it. I almost don't believe that. That's great. Uh, let's occupy everything over here. Very good. Let's have you guys come off over here. Tunis is beefy. <laughs> Sicily's beefy. 
It'd be cool if uh, Bulgaria would head over there and handle them. Don't know if they'll do it, but it'd be cool if they did. So you guys are over here. Let's have you guys explore all the way over here. And this will prime us to uh, start steering trade all the way from Karamandel, which we definitely will, but we're going to need this trade down here first. I also need to get these guys down here. They're wasting so much of my money. Take this province here and then immediately cut them. There we go. Get you guys grouped up. Very good. Get those guys off of there. Please and thank you. Absolutely not. Get off my lands. There we go. Cool. Now we just need to come on up here and these guys are dead. Andalusia will be full occupied, which is great. Where are you guys going, huh? go wipe them out wipe them out there we go let's also yep yeah, we got all that so this is what we're taking a uh, bare minimum and then i have claims on all the islands i'd like to probably you know snake my way up around there it's a lot of ae but if i just wait it out it won't i don't think anybody's really going to be joining so that's probably pretty good let's get you guys all grouped up We're not too ahead of time on tech, so I'm not really worried about that. He's going to lose his capital to rebels. Let's get that guys down here. And then next month we can... Yeah, we can even wait another month. Styria wants a royal marriage. Sounds good. So how are you guys getting your capital siege down over here by Tunis? Is there a reason for that? Papal State is now a controller again. All right, very good. Let's go with... Um, let's just spend all our money on it then. All of our piety, points, mana, stuff. Apparently my general died and I didn't catch that, so... That's all fine and dandy. Let's come on down here. So this is this is Andalusia down there. Interesting. I would love to get Tunis out of this war. And then I'll I will also I need access through Pope Man. I should probably just get like an alliance with Pope Man. There we go. Let's get something like this. This is fine with me. Uh, we'll spend a couple of points on admin dev. There we go. Take as many ports as we can here. Their numbers are still super high compared to me, but they've also taken double the losses I have. I'm not worried at all. Bohemia is still adding provinces to the HRE, which is just super funny. Look at my siege ability over here, dude. That's, uh, that's nutty. Come on now, win a siege. There we go. We'll be able to peace out um, these guys pretty soon as well. Won the Siege of Tangier, so let's come on over here. Repair, repair them. Um, Sicily will want out pretty soon. Especially as his war exhaustion goes up. I can't believe he had his capital siege down. What a doofus. Let's upgrade our cannons. I think it was Cav? No, just cannons. 
Very good. We're getting a lot of war score from these occupations, so it's really good. And their war exhaustion is skyrocketing, so... Looks like these guys over here are, uh, for some reason, not doing too good. So Marrakesh is, uh, independent, so let's get on down to his capital and peace him out ASAP. People are leaving the coalition, which is good. We're just riding it out. Siege him down, baby. Let's go. And we're gonna and we'll use all of his mon all of the stuff to take money from them all. So it's like any money that we're spending in this war, it's all going directly right back into my pocket. None of this money is money that's being lost. None of it. Can I walk past that fort? Wait a minute. Okay, so anybody who watched my uh, Sons of Carthage campaign saw that this fort right here was very problematic because the AI would literally just walk past it every time. They never obeyed that fort. Never. Let's just get him out. Sicily also wants out. Very good. I can even maybe yes, get war reps. Gladly. Very good. And that frees me up to basically piece them out for whatever we want. Which is that. Um, okay. Who's truces? So I have some truces with a lot of these people. Let's see here. Uh, spy network construction, regiment cost, advisor cost. Let's go with regiment cost. Um, that's fine. And we'll take this as soon as we can here. Let's have you guys um, go with them and go protect trade in the channel. And I'll have you guys all hang out over here. Have you guys head on over this way. And uh, towards the end of the year, I'm going to switch over to a relationship improvement guy. There we go. And so this is a good old trick that you can use if you're having uh, issues with aggressive expansion. Is you uh, get one of these guys first off. So we have him. And then at the yearly tick, right before the end of the year, you peace out. Okay. So it says, you know, we'll have 50 AE with them. Uh, so let's say Albion will have 52. Peace him out. Wait a couple of months. We look at him. Where are we at? 49, baby. Because we cannot get a coalition now. So, we are overextended, which is uh, quite unfortunate. But this is okay. Because we can uh, core this all up right now. So, it shouldn't be a huge issue. We'll just keep these guys over here. And uh, these guys can handle the home front. If we have any, like, particularists or anything on at home. And uh, that will do it for this episode. So I hope that you guys did enjoy. If you did, please show your support and leave a like. And don't forget to subscribe and uh, ding the bell when you do. It'll send you notifications when we upload videos. If you also want to check out what's going on on the Patreon or over on the Discord, links for those are in the description below the video. With all that being said, this is Chewy Shoe, and I'll catch you guys later. A huge special thanks to my top supporters on Patreon, Bloodbound92, Palmer, Jack Thompson, Drunk Binary, Some Kind of Meme, Valentel, Jaron Clampett, Corbett Gaming, Home TV, RJ Pilot, Callus Cassowary, The Bitter Steel, and many more. I appreciate you guys very much. Don't forget to check out the videos linked on the left and the right, and don't forget to subscribe.